Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking into the disappearance of Cornelis. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It could be Cornelius. Frederick Boxlag, a nickname Casey. He went missing June 5th or around June 5th. They don't really seem to have an exact date, even though it says June 5th, 2022 from Salt Lake, South Salt Lake, Utah. He was only 29 years old. He was about six foot tall to six foot two, weighed about 130 to 150 pounds. He was last seen in early June early June at his apartment before his car was located and his car was located on June 8th and his car wasn't hidden and it was located in the remote area of Summit County later the same day. The license plate was removed before it was found. Now this is like this, he could have went missing days after Dylan Rounds was killed or went missing. I would say was murdered, but it could have been days after Dylan Rounds went missing. So Dylan Rounds went missing from here, Lucen, Utah, which is near, I don't know how to pronounce it, Montella, Nevada. Okay, which is just right here. And then this young man went missing from right here, and his vehicle was found here. So, and I don't know if the cases are connected or not. Or if it's just a coincidence, which it could be, you know, they could be completely unrelated, which we've seen with um, Moab, Utah, with all there was, what, four or five cases um, around the August time frame, and none of them were related. And you would think that, you know, they would have been related, but none of them were. But I just find it a little eerie. That that happened to Dylan Rounds right here, and then within within I would say within seven to eight days, sometime within that time frame, the other young man goes missing here, and his vehicle's just found here, and it's not even hidden. So, and he was only 29 years old, and here's some images of him. They said he most likely had a goatee. So this image would probably be a more recent image, maybe. And there's another image of him. So if you have any information about what might have happened to him, um, maybe you knew who he hung out with, who he spent time with, different places that he went, maybe if you kept a diary, maybe you have different dates or any information. You know, maybe you heard somebody talking. Maybe somebody was drinking and talking. Maybe you were in jail with somebody and they were talking. Any information that you have, even if you're not sure if it's relevant, you can contact authorities and let them know. I don't, I'm not sure if they have an email address or not, but there's their phone number and there's a case number, which you can find online if you need. And So please contact authorities and let them know any information that you have. Um, don't forget to pray for him, his family, his loved ones. And feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.